guys, this is Marcy. So for today's total body workout, it's only gonna be five minutes long. We're going to do it together, and it's going to sound easy and looks easy based on the description that I'm about to show you, but let me tell you, it's definitely gonna give you a run for your money. This is our workout. So all we're going to be doing is one exercise today. We're only going to be doing it for five minutes. We're really going to dig deep into our lower um, core, which is our lower back, as well as our arms and our shoulders and our abs, everything, all within five minutes, one exercise. Super duper tough. I have to take breaks all the time because my back gets so tense and that's what we want because we want to get strong, we want to get toned, and you'll know that you're toning if you're burning, okay? Burning is good. If you hurt, stop, okay? Totally stop this workout. Okay, so I have my in interval timer set for uh, 10 seconds of rest. For the 10 seconds of rest, we're simply going to flip over because trust me, you're going to need it after doing all those back exercises. You're going to probably need to just roll, all right? Or you might even just want to hold your legs just like this, okay? That's going to be your rest. If you want to incorporate some regular abs, just like this, feel free, okay? Now, for the 30 seconds of work, we're gonna be swimming together for the entire 30 seconds. So what you're gonna do, we do swimmers all the time. You're gonna lay down, so I don't kick the blind. Your hands are gonna be out in front. Your legs are going to be in the simple kicking motion, just like this, okay? So you can kind of point your toes. Those of you that know swim etiquette, please use it, okay? Just kick the feet just like this, okay? So kicking your feet, lifting each leg, is toning your glute and also your leg, okay? And your arms, you're simply gonna do the same thing. Keep your head down just like this and pump your arms like this. Okay, so you're pumping your arms, okay? You don't need to do big arm raises here, where it's a slow controlled movement to really engage those core muscles. And then we're gonna incorporate both of them together just like this. Okay, for the interval set. Now, if you get tired, what I tend to do, I'll either just kick my arms or just kick my legs. So beginners, if you can't physically kick both arms and legs at the same time, do the variation. So if I get tired, I might do this. Keep my arms down, just kick my feet until the timer beats, or I might do just the arms. Okay, another variation that you can do for beginners, just do it at a more slower rate, pausing between each swim. So when my right arm is up, my left leg is up. I'm gonna alternate just like this for the interval set. So for beginners, you might wanna try that variation if the full fledged swimming is too much, okay? So hope you guys got it. It's only five minutes long. We're only gonna be resting out of the five minutes um, for an additional minute. So 10 seconds between each rep. Again, we're gonna flip over for the rest because you're probably gonna need to stretch that back out. I've already warmed up. Pause the video if you need to. Go ahead and warm up and let's get into this workout. All right, 10 seconds of rest, uh-oh. 10 seconds of rest, three, two, one, get ready to swim. Let's go, 30 straight seconds. <clears throat> Feels okay right now, but trust me, it's gonna start burning. Remember to pump those arms. Your shoulders might start to burn. Kick those feet. Keep it controlled. Five seconds. All right. I might start to stick to my mat if it comes up with me. So this is the 10 seconds of rest. I'm just simply resting my lower back. I'm about to get back over. 30 more seconds, let's go. Again, you'll know you're doing this properly if you feel it in your lower back, right down here. Okay, you shouldn't necessarily feel it in the mid back, and I definitely feel it in my shoulders. Remember to breathe. Three seconds, five seconds. All right, you can also just come up and kind of bend your legs a little bit. Do child's pose. I'm gonna put this timer in front of me this time. 30 seconds. Okay, 
my arms are getting burnt out already, but I'm kicking my feet so that I can keep my heart rate going, my body toning. All right. Think about it, guys. That's only a minute and 30 seconds. This five minutes is gonna seem very long. We're almost back into it. and they're about to burn out too. This is a killer, killer workout in five minutes. We're getting there guys, keep it up. Resting my back for a second. All right. Five rounds to go. Remember to breathe. You probably hear me panting and blowing all the time. I'm a big breather so that I won't pass out while I do these workouts. All right, four rounds to go. Stretch it out. We're almost done, guys. Keep it up. Very, very good job. All right. <clears throat> I'm gonna do the opposite now and just do my arms for a little bit. Just super hard in itself. You're really working out your shoulders, okay? Three, two, one. Woo. All right. Almost done. All right, let's go. Kicking the blind. Let's do that. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Is anybody burning yet? This is extremely tough. Go ahead and roll out that lower back to ease some tension. And guess what? We're right back at it. <laughs> if you want to do different form of strokes like this, feel free. Any kind of swimming. You're lifting up those arms and you're still toning those shoulders, okay? It's a little bit slower motion or you can keep to the traditional kick and paddle like this. All right, almost there guys, keep it up. Keep it up. All right, 30 seconds. Kick, kick, kick. Don't stop kicking your legs, okay? They're really toning and you don't even know it. One round left. We got it. Almost done. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Give it your all. Kick the entire time in your arms. I'm gonna try my best. Ten. Ten. 
All right. Oh. All right. I don't know about you, but that was five extremely hard minutes, okay? So that goes to show those of you that say, oh, I don't have time to work out today. I'm just too busy. You definitely have five minutes. Wake up, do this workout in the morning. Do it before you go to bed. Maybe not before you go to bed. I'm sweating. You might not want to get icky before you go to bed. Kick it in. Do your best to just put it in somewhere in your day. You can do this workout every day if you wish to. Lower back exercises are extremely important. By lower back exercises, you're also, again, helping strengthen your core. And by strengthening your core, think about it. You need your core to walk, day-to-day -day walking. And this will also help you correct your posture. You'll sit up a little straighter. You won't be hunched over, okay? If you see people hunched over all the time, that means that they have a weak core. You see people sitting up straight with good posture, their core is a little bit stronger, okay? So keep working on your core. These are called swimmers. Incorporate them into your daily lives, and I'll see you guys for our next workout. Bye.